Hi, let's talk about the CPA firm of the future. About two years ago, in early 2012, the American Institute of CPAs, known as the AICPA, came out with their CPA Horizons 2025 report that defines not only what the CPA firms in this country look like presently, but what they're going to evolve into and look like by the year 2025. The main conclusion in that report was that CPAs and that profession itself are no longer defined by the two traditional services that CPAs have been known for over many, many years and decades. Those two things being income tax return preparation and preparation of financial statements. In Horizons 2025, the AICPA points out that now, not by 2025, but already, CPAs are expected by their best clients to be what we call the firm of the future. In other words, their ability to look into the future with their best clients to help predict the future, improve profitability for the businesses, do forward-looking planning for income taxes, business planning, succession planning, estate planning, and so on. That's not by 2025, that's now, here in the present. The profession is no longer defined that way. Now there's two key strategic issues that I think CPAs need to be very familiar with if they desire to be a CPA firm of the future. And these are also two opportunities, I think, to really, really differentiate yourself in the marketplace of all CPAs. One challenge that many CPAs have is consumers think of all CPAs and CPA firms as basically being the same thing. If, for example, you go to a networking event and I say, hi, I'm Richard, and I'm a CPA, the person that I've just met almost certainly thinks that the thing that I do for a living is I prepare tax returns. And if, God forbid, that client or that prospect calls me tomorrow and says, do you prepare tax returns? And I say, yes. The first question they're going to ask me is, what do you charge for a 1040, an individual tax return? That's basically a commodity service in the consumer's eyes. So to be a CPA firm of the future, you have to be able to differentiate yourself in the marketplace of CPAs. We do that by having access or having in place an entire network, a vast and vibrant network of resources that do a tremendous job of serving what we call high-end or A clients. That would be all kinds of other resources that are related to being a CPA but aren't CPA-centric. Business valuation, insurance planning, estate planning, all kinds of things that help business owners improve their profits, cost segregation for real estate. So if you as a CPA, as a CPA firm, have this vast network in place, of this, this vast array of resources that can help your best clients solve virtually any financial issue that they have, that's a way for you to differentiate yourself against the competition of other CPAs who most likely do not have that resource in place. Your competition will typically only have CPA-centric resources in place. So if you can create that, if you can tap into our resource, it puts you in a position of being able to differentiate yourself in the marketplace. Secondly, the other major issue, which we'll call succession planning, the average age of a CPA firm owner in this country is 58 years of age. CPAs who want to get out of this business are finding that, the, that if they try to sell a, a, call it a tax practice, a very basic practice that is a CPA firm of the past, they're not getting a very good price because most buyers don't want to buy old-fashioned assets. So to the extent that you can institutionalize your approach to working with clients and providing value through this network that you've created, this thing that we call the LG experience, you all of a sudden have a much more valuable asset should you be at the point in your business life where succession planning is now appropriate. Again, by succession planning, I mean selling your form, firm or bringing in junior partners to take over the practice. You now have a much more valuable asset, you, asset that you've created. It's providing much greater value to your clients as well. Your clients are presumably much more loyal to the firm. So succession planning can also be, I think, addressed through this approach of trying to create the CPA firm of the future through using this vibrant network of all these other resources that we have that serve your very best clients. So if you're looking to differentiate yourself as a CPA in the marketplace, if you're looking to create a practice that has a much greater value for ultimate liquidation and sale or transfer to junior partners, becoming a CPA firm of the future, I think, is in your best interests and certainly does a tremendous job of solving your succession planning issues as well as branding you or differenti differentiating you in the marketplace so that your clients can see why you're better, why you're different, and prospects can very clearly see why you are the best choice of the CPA firm to be working with. 
So everybody who wants to be CPA firm of the future, that's how you do it.